In this session, we'll be learning how to create a user credentials in web.config file and use it in a project. For this to demonstrate, I'll make use of two files that is login and a home. We'll have login.aspx. So one more file I need because after logging in, I have to move to some other page. Maybe basically you will have a home page. So home.aspx. <coughs> In home.aspx, I'll just tell h1 title welcome to home page. Welcome to home page. So in login, so I'll simply drag and drop a login control. So I have it here. I have login can do auto format if you require to set it to professional you have your login control I'll name this login control as my login so the next step is go to web.config so if you don't get this go click on Solution Explorer or you have Windows <coughs> uh, you go to web.config double click on web.config under the system.web you have to write authentication so what type of authentication on which you are performing authentication you are performing authentication on forms so mode is equal to forms so next is you specify the form stack you specify the default url i will be explaining what exactly is the default url you just write login dot espx inside the form tag you write you select credentials you tell Credentials return uh, password format you set it to clear under credentials you add user so user you type name I tell as Sanju and I give the password as uh, one two three four five so I create a user uh, name is equal to uh, a b c d and uh, password is equal to 333 so in this case i have two users one is sanju and a b c d so their respective passwords will be uh, 1234 and 333 three, three. so you have created the user uh, users here instead of uh, <coughs> The other way of creating user is you go to your SQL server, create a database, create a table and uh, in your c -sharp, in your ASP or c -sharp code you uh, create a connection. So you need not do all those. You just need to specify the user inside a credentials that is inside the authentication tag. Inside the authentication tag. So you have created the users so you have to authenticate in the login. So in this login control, you double click on this. So it will take you to my login authenticate event. In this my login authenticate, you check for the, the correct users. So one more thing I just forgot here is after writing the authentication, so you should try it authorization. So after the user is been authenticated so you should give proper permission for uh, the users so i deny users that is i am denying anonymous users only uh, known users can access my project or the, my website so anonymous users question mark means anonymous users cannot access my website 
so I go to login.aspx so I double click on this I get this so on clicking of login button so on clicking of this login button so it should authenticate so where exactly is my authentication so where exactly is my users so where did I specify I have specified in web.config so I have to I have something called as forms authentication so I have not added uh, the namespace so point to the end of this give control dot you get system dot web dot security so in order to use forms authentication you should use system dot web dot security so forms authentication dot you have authenticate so your username is present inside this username and password is present inside password and I have given the name as uh, my login so I should tell my login dot username comma my login dot password so it will authenticate so it will authenticate the users present in uh, under the credentials of the authentication tag in web.config so after this after doing this store your session in a cookie so you give as forms authentication dot set authentication cookie so my username is inside my login dot username comma I specify as false then redirect to home.aspx in case if the user exists so I tell response dot redirect I tell home dot aspx so home dot aspx else it will display the error message so the error message is the uh, by default it's taken care of by this login control so I'll go ahead and run this project I have given the username as so in web.config so I'll take this username abcd and triple three abcd and three 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 you can see it's 333 click on login so you go to home page so here I have given something as a default URL here so default uh, URL so I will explain you login URL I tell you what exactly is login URL see in this project I have two pages basically when you uh, click on home page it should not display the home page it should redirect to the login page that's what uh, we are specifying the login url whichever the pro uh, project whichever the page you are uh, whichever the page you run if you are not if you have if you have not logged in it will redirect to the login page so i run home.aspx see home.aspx it's been re redirected to login.aspx I need to login oh, oh, this is my username and password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. login so it goes to homepage.aspx here you have logged in see once again you go to uh, uh, Here you have logged in so you have you are able to uh, go to home.aspx directly if you want to go to home.aspx it will not allow because you have set you have set the default URL as login.aspx so what if I remove this in case if I remove this so I will